You know what they say, beggars can't be choosers, but uh, apparently Antonio Brown don't know he's in a begging position. He says no to joining the Philadelphia Eagles. Let's talk about it. We back. Goodfellas Sports TV. Make sure you check out our NFL playlist. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. We talk about everything, sports, music, entertainment, and some. But um, somebody on Twitter said, hey, B, we need you. You see the screenshot come up in a minute, and A.B. said no. So, you know, if you didn't know, Orlando Scandrick uh, went on Undisputed today with Skip Shannon and spilled all the tea, called out Malcolm Jenkins, said he was selfish, said the players miss Nick Foles and really don't like uh, Carson Wentz like that. And it sounds like the Eagles is a dumpster fire, called out the GM, I think his name is Holly Roseman, uh, said that he a liar and basically said it's a double standard when it comes to guys like Zach Brown who spoke their mind and got cut and Doug Peterson who spoke their mind is still there. But this is the screenshot right here. He asked, uh, guy asked him on Twitter at AB85, 84, excuse me, Eagles need you, bro. Tell your agent to call them ASAP. He said, I do not think so. At the end of the day, Antonio Brown, you, I mean, you would be lucky if somebody get you a shot. You know, you being humble now and you came out and you apologized on your uh your YouTube video. Say now you understand that the game don't need you. You was grateful to play the game, and you know somebody threw an idea out there. I don't even think the Eagles would bring in To one point five Antonio Brown, but just to see that you know he still got some type of standard and just not trying to just get into the league any way he can. Um, it's interesting. You know what I'm saying? It's like a a, a, a woman. Uh, you know, trying to shoot our shot and trying to get with a ball player, but she ain't fine enough or trying to get a wealthy man. And she don't want to lower her standards. So she'd rather just stay single and, and just play with her toys and her vibrator <laughs> and become a cat lady. At the end of the day, Antonio Brown, I, I assure you financially, he don't want to be a cat lady. He getting sued by a chef. He got that little, little civil suit with old girl, the Brittany Taylor guy, girl, <laughs> I hope she ain't a guy, girl. And the whole thing about what happened at the condo when he threw the couch over the tower and almost hit a little kid at the pool. He's supposed to be paying for that kid's college tuition. So I don't I think that case is still going or something happened. So he financially uh, need the money. And, um, and I understand he probably think he got options. He still ain't been suspended. But I'm pretty sure they put that uh they put that CC <laughs> email out and put everybody in and told him. Don't mess with Antonio Brown. Him and Kaepernick on the same list right now. But once that play, you know, that play out, I think he'd be in the league next year. Uh, but just seeing that he got standards, just just imagine somebody that ain't that don't look that good and just refuse to date somebody that's a that's a uh, if they have five, that's a five, or refuse if they have three, they have three. They just swear they a ten or a nine or an eight or even a seven. And that's Antonio Brown. But I guarantee you. This time next year, if he ain't a part of the team, he'd be over there. Baby, please, please don't go. He'd be out there, James Browning. A lot of y'all probably too uh, young to remember. Please, James Brown. Be Brown on his knees begging uh, to join the Philadelphia Eagles. Even if they a dumpster fire on top of another dumpster fire. You know, he should just be grateful for an opportunity. You know, but in his mind, he feel like once it's all love, with, he going to bounce back and um, he going to get a uh, – he gonna get a great position with a great franchise, dude. He was part of the two most historic fran three, not three most historic franchises in the NFL. The Steelers, you had a good there. You fought finesse your way out because you couldn't be that guy that Ben Roethlisberger is. When you signed up to play football, you should have been a quarterback then. Then you messed up with the Raiders, even though to the youth today the Raiders ain't that iconic. But at once upon a time, even in the early two thousands, they were pretty good. Tim Brown, Jerry Rice, Rich Gannon. Um, and then you play for the New England Patriots, which is right now, uh, of current date, is the most uh, historic franchise, the most glamour franchise as far as winning championships. And you think you about to, you know, go to a, another good situation, maybe like the Dallas Cowboys? Please, you're going to be playing in Buffalo, all right? <laughs> you're going to be playing for the for the Dolphins. you lucky if you can play for the Dolphins. So, you know, he need to get off his high horse, and he still ain't been humbled enough. You know, you get you get this you get around draft time after free agency. He ain't picked up. They day to break him. He'd be willing to pay for anybody. He might even go have to go to Canada. But hey, good fella sports TV. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you got business questions, inquiry, sponsorship, video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Appreciate the love, support. Check out our NFL playlist. I'm gonna keep putting down more videos, man. So check me out one time for the one time.